Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all over the place. We have a lot of cleaning and picking up to do as I have kind of been a little bit under the weather. Um, we'll talk about that more later because it's a long story but um, tonight we cheated and got McDonald's for supper. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Um, it's been a long day over here. I had worked at the school all day, uh, well most of the day, getting set up for our biggest fundraiser of the year. Um, so this was filmed on um, a Friday, last Friday, and then actually was filmed over a couple of days. So you'll see later when I change clothes. But the start of this is on last Friday and we had been at the school um, setting up for that fundraiser. We got to bring home Miles' baby chickens. He was so excited. Um, they hatched chicken eggs in their third grade class and he got to, to bring three home um, and he was just super excited. All three kids were excited because each of them has one. So we're working on getting that brooder box set up today and getting them in a nice little home. And then I just needed to pick up the kitchen before we move on to other things. As I said, I haven't been feeling my best and some of the mess that you're going to be seeing today has been sitting in that spot for several days because I just honestly have not felt like doing anything. I am struggling with a kidney stone and if you know, you know. So yes, please let me know in the comments if you have had any situations um, dealing with kidney stones or if you know of someone that deals with them and what any tips, tricks, Anything you have for me, I will take at this point because I started noticing symptoms in December and it is now, you know, March, middle of March. So um, needless to say, I have been battling it for a while and I'm kind of just over it. Um, I have never had a kidney stone that I know of. Now that I've I have this one, I kind of think that I've had them in the past and just didn't realize it. Like I just thought I probably overdid it and had some back pain. Um, but no, I think now looking back, I've had kidney stones and just didn't realize it. So this one is an issue because it's five millimeters. So if you know anything about kidney stones, you know, that's a decent size. So I am kind of to the point right now where I'm afraid like it's just not going to come out on its own. So I have gotten a referral to urology and I'm going to have to go see them and see what they say. And I'm dreading it because I just... I just don't like going to the doctor if I'm being honest and any thought of having anything done is just like terrifying to me. So long story short, I'm just praying that it comes out on its own and I can just get this over with. But I did have an episode at work last week where I had to go home from work because I was in such extreme pain. Like I was in more pain than I experienced with two out of my three labors with children, if I'm being honest, Be mostly because I got an epidural with them, but an epidural isn't an option when you're dealing with the kidney stone. So I just had to suffer and it was horrible, but I am feeling better and I'm just hoping that that doesn't happen again. But that's the thing with kidney stones is you never know when that's going to happen and it can hit you out of nowhere. So just praying that the worst is over and we can get on with this. But if you have any tips, tricks, comments, experiences, please tell me in the comments because I am like Googling everything I can and trying to just figure out any possible way to encourage this thing to move along. So just leave any tips in the, in the comments if you have them. Doesn't mean I don't need you. Now that you know all my deep, dark secrets, I, it's just funny that I even have to put that out there, but it's one of those things like I feel like it, it's just part of my life, so I'm going to share it with you. Anyway, we are working on getting the basement started, so I am super excited. We, my husband did really good. He was knocking it out, and then he ended up sick, and I'm pretty sure he has influenza, um, but anyway, he is feeling better now as I'm doing this voiceover, but at the time of all of this, actually, it was the night that I went home from work with my kidney stone. That same night, he came home from work feeling terrible, and he was down for a good three or four days. Like, he, that is not him. He is a workaholic. He likes to get things done, and he was just, like, out of commission, um, high fevers, just body aches, chills. Um, now he's mostly just really congested and just doesn't 
feel his best, but I mean, he's back to work and doing normal things. But before he got sick, he really was working hard on the basement, got a lot knocked out. He got some new tools. So he has kind of got all that stuff set up. And as you can could see there, I was putting some things away earlier um, that he was charging. Um, so anyway, we are excited to get that project started. Like I've said before, it's going to be a very long, slow process, but at the end of today's video, um, or somewhere along the lines of this video, I've got, um, a little update in there for you of what it's looking like and where we're at. So I'm really hoping that this weekend, this upcoming weekend, he can get a lot more done, um, and we can see some more progress because it's so exciting to see every little step in the right direction. For reasons not to be like them. them, we fly around like paper planes. They never it's so funny to me when you're sick or you're not able to get as much done as you'd like to do how motivated you are once you start feeling better so like as soon as i started to feel a little bit better i was like ready to tackle the house get all the things done and it just feels so good to kind of get um, some things accomplished and like i said i'm just that type of person i like everything to be in its place and things to be so so and when you don't feel good and you don't feel like doing anything, it's just one of those things that's frustrating because you have all these things you want to do and you need to do. And if a lot of these jobs are one of those things, if you don't get it, if you don't stay caught up on it, it really builds up and then it's a lot harder to accomplish. So I have still been doing a really good job keeping up with laundry, which I'm super happy about. Like I've said, I know I'm like beating a dead horse here, but this system has seriously like changed the game. I have been so good about staying up on laundry. One other thing that's changed is we aren't busy right now with kids sports. So I am home of an evening, which is obviously going to help me as well. So I'm anxious to see how this works out when we do start into baseball. Um, but for now it's working really well and it's just so much nicer to do like one load a day and not have mountains of laundry waiting on me on the weekends. So gonna do a little bit here just to kind of get myself caught up and um, I did have a little bit more to do just since I have been sick but it still wasn't bad at all like I have done such a better job of staying up on it so just gonna finish it up real quick and that will complete what I do for this evening it's been a long day so I just saved everything else for the next day so now it is the next day I just took a quick shower and got a little laundry started before my daughter and I ran to town to get a few last minute things for our fundraiser that we were having this day and um, some things for the chickens and when we got home the boys were unloading the wood for the framing for the basement so I went out and helped them for a little bit we got all of this unloaded. It took a little bit, but we got it. Um, my husband was down there in the basement grabbing the boards as we were putting them down. So it worked out. It was a decent little system. It's kind of nice to have this walkout portion of the basement. And if you notice, we don't have the railing up yet. We're still working on that. Um, so this isn't an area that we are out around much um, just for safety purposes. But it did work out really great to have this option to just slide the boards right down into the basement rather than having to take them like through the garage, around the corner, down the basement steps. Um, this worked out great. So we just had a little teamwork here and got this job done. It was pretty windy and cool this day, but... Um, when you're working and moving boards like this, you stayed pretty warm, so it wasn't too bad. Um, but thankful to have their help. It was it went a lot faster having all of us participate. And then, like I said, my husband had been sick, so there's not much gotten accomplished since we unloaded the boards. But I'm hoping that this weekend we can really get um, busy and get those put up. Back in the kitchen, I wanted to get everything kind of cleaned up. Like I said, the day that I'm videoing this, um, this evening is our big fundraiser. So I had a lot to get done at my house before I could, um, was going to be gone for the rest of the day working at that fundraiser. So we just tackled as much as we could, went ahead and unloaded the dishwasher. This is one of the chores that my kids have been doing. However, they were still help, out helping their dad. Um, so I just went ahead and did it and... I say chores lightly and I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea because I'm probably never going to be one that's just like really strict and you have to do this or you don't get to do that. You know, 
it's more just like we're all a family we all live here let's all help each other out kind of a thing so i'm still working on that process and i'm really excited for what i've the ideas i've got so far i've been doing a lot of research and just kind of seeing like what other people do and kind of making my own system so i'm excited to share with that with you in the next couple weeks um so it, hopefully it can help someone else that's maybe looking at trying to incorporate more i'm mostly interested in incorporating this coming like the summer months when the kids are home more and we're gone every night with baseball and you know just when we're really busy and not home is when my house kind of gets out of order so it's it takes more effort from everyone to get everything back in order rather than me spending all of my weekends um, doing this. I want to be able to take the kids um, out on the weekends and Fridays when I'm off work and we can go fishing and we can go swimming and we can do fun things. Um, but if I'm consumed with getting my house clean and catching up on laundry and doing all the things that have to be done, I don't have time left to do anything else. So that's why I'm kind of encouraging them to help me. They're perfectly capable and willing, honestly. They, they like helping it's more just, like I've said, more just me trying to, I need to let go a little bit more and realize that, you know, done is better than perfect. It doesn't matter. If they just get it done, it's all that really matters. And they are learning in the process as well, which is the most important thing. I want them to be good, productive citizens that, you know, know how to take care of their home when they're older. And so that's the goal here. We will see how it, how it works and what all I come up with. One of the other things the kids have been doing and they've done this all along is bringing their clothes into the laundry room. Um, I will say with this new way that we have, I have all my laundry baskets under this table that you're seeing me folding laundry on. And before the table wasn't there. So all the laundry baskets were open. So the kids could see exactly which basket to put their clothing in just based off of what was already in the basket. Um, I have one basket for regular clothes, one basket for jeans and one basket for towels. Um, Long story short, now that the table's there, you can't see into the baskets at all. So I really need to make a little label for each of the baskets on the side so that they know exactly what goes in each basket because that's what I had just spent the last few minutes doing was sorting what was in the baskets because instead of finding the basket that it thinks belong in, things just kind of got mixed up. So long story short, I do need to tweak this just a little bit and it'll, it'll, it's still not a big deal. As long as it gets in this room, I don't really care, but it would be nice if I didn't have to spend any time sorting. Um, so still need to work on that a little bit. Um, everything is a work in progress as you know. So just finishing up this load of laundry and then I will be about caught up with laundry, which is such a good feeling. Talking about sharing my real life with you, this is a mess that my daughter had made and I should be making her pick it up. But like I said, we had a very busy um, day and she was actually taking a nap this morning or this afternoon. Um, so I just picked it up for her. But this was a mess that she had made the day before getting ready for school. She has a trouble with picking out what she wants. And if we don't pick them out ahead of time, this is what ends up happening. So she'll end up taking everything off the hanger and dropping it in the floor. And it's just like a whole thing. So long story short, we need to work on making sure we get everything picked out ahead of time because that solves that problem. But just going to go ahead and move right along into my bathroom. This is just the mess from getting ready and wanted to get it picked up before we had to leave. Thankfully, because everything in here has a place, it is very easy to tidy up very quickly. So if you've enjoyed today's video, make sure you are subscribed and um, I appreciate each and every one of you for being here and stay tuned for some more. I have a lot of spring cleaning coming soon and we are working on the basement. And as promised, here's your little basement update. So my husband has gotten almost all of the walls covered with the foam boards that um, for insulation. So almost all of it, as you can see, is covered. There is a small section you'll see at the end that is not. This is all the boards that we had carried down. So as you can see, that was a lot of wood that we um, had to haul down to the basement, but thankfully we had big helpers and um, we got the job done. So the next step is going to be after he completely finishes the walls, because you can see there's a gap at the top that still needs finished. 
And then you'll see in a little bit, there's this whole section that we'll need finish right here. Um, but pretty much the rest of it's done and then we can start framing. So stay tuned for more and make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. I appreciate each and every one of you. Bye.